Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. It's been a long time uh, since we've had an unboxing for a while, but um, uh, today is the release day for Fire Emblem If. Probably the worst named game ever. I don't, I don't know why it's like Bravely Default If. There must be something about Japan though where you have to give your name a f game, game a, a funny name. Fire Emblem If. This is the game that will come out in 2016 in the West, but it's out now in Japan. Um, I don't know if you have to play Awakening before you play this game, uh, but I have never played a Fire Emblem game, so this is actually my first entry into the series, so I'm quite excited about getting into Fire Emblem with this game. There are two versions of it. And um, one of them is going to be a little easier than the other, but the first six chapters are the same. So you can actually download the game, um, play the first six chapters, and then decide which one you want to go for. This, like the light side or the dark side, uh, well, I don't think it's that simple. Um, but you, the story will change and it gets a little more difficult, I think, uh, on the, the darker one. I think the lighter one might be a little easier. I may have got that backwards, I'm not 100% sure. But I'll be unboxing that or this in this video. Um, but I'll also show you what else we got today at the shops. The other thing I got here is the Fire Emblem new Nintendo 3DS cover plate. Looks absolutely mint. This is, looks really, really good. It's got the dark-ish one on the back and the, the lighter one here on the front. Um, can't wait to show you that. I'll unbox that in a separate video, but for, um, for now, I just wanted to show you that I got it um, on release day with Fire Emblem. Now actually, there was um, a Fire Emblem new Nintendo 3DS. Now it's not printed onto the 3DS itself, but this this, this cover plate basically comes inside the box. So if you want to play, um, if you want to get that 3DS, um, basically it's just a normal, regular new Nintendo 3DS and this cover in the same box with a 16 gigabyte memory card uh, provided for free which is quite generous, I think. Um, but essentially, I don't need that because I already have a new Nintendo 3DS, and once I put this cover plate on, it will essentially be the same thing. And also, last but not least, check this out. This is uh, a pack, a starter deck for Fire Emblem playing cards. Uh, there's actually two different starter decks. There was a red one and a blue one. I went for this red one. Uh, I don't 100% know uh, really what the difference was between them, but I thought uh, there's probably going to be some nice designs on the cards themselves. Um, I have actually been thinking about getting into more card games recently anyway, so it may as well be this one, seeing as today's release day for Fire Emblem. Really excited about showing you what that looks like, so what I'll do is I will unbox the game and the cards in this video and show you them. Uh, I'll make some gameplay videos in the future as well, and then check out a separate video where I'll be unboxing this, this cover plate for the new Nintendo 3DS. So let's get unboxing. All right, let's get these things out of the boxes. Now this is going to be something we open up uh, in a moment, but let's go straight into the game first. So Fire Emblem If, uh, Fire Emblem Fates when it comes out in the West. Um, you can see that I've got the white version. I think it's called the Rebirth version. I think the other one is called Conquest. Um, we've got the black case for this, but actually most games in Japan come out with the, the white case, um, and then games like Monster Hunter, I think, have the black case. But have a look at this, you can see on the back just some pictures from the game. Graphics on the um, in-game movies look really, really good. Apparently after chapter 6 all of the story is, is really completely different um, between the two games. So if you, if you have finished the game on, on this, the whole story mode, apparently you can download for $20 the other game. And then basically you'll have paid about 6,000 yen and you'll end up with basically two games. Now obviously they're very similar <laughs> Very similar games, but story-wise they'll be quite different. Um, so yeah, just look at these screenshots. Let's see what do we have here. It is only one player. Um, there are three save slots. You can have um, two players in multiplayer, um, as long as you both have cartridges, I believe. It is compatible with Amiibo. If you have um, a Fire Emblem Amiibo, that should be compatible. And that's interesting. You can see um, it's got the live 2D branding, and they use that for a lot of mobile games now um, to make 2D pictures look like they're animated uh, in 3D. So let's get this out of its plastic prison. I always open it like that by <laughs> digging my finger into the side, chuck the plastic on the floor and regret that later. Open up the box and as you can see, not a lot going on here. What is this, some sort of safe, no, oh it's just how to use the electronic manual, don't need that. Let's have a look at this. This is a card. I think we can use this in the Fire Emblem card game for which I have the box over here. We'll open up that in a moment. But you can see there is a card in here. Let's just take this out of the plastic so you can actually get a nice close look at what that looks like. Get you out without destroying the card. 
Okay, I don't know if this is rare or if this is special or if this is the same card that comes in every single uh, box, but um, it has a fighting, I think this is a fighting power of 40. The name is Lucina or uh, Lucina, I don't really know how to pronounce her name. She's got a sword. Uh, it does look like a quite nice illustration. It looks really, really cool. Let's put that over here to the side and let's just check this out. This is uh, right, this is just advertising for the card game. As I mentioned before, um, you get the red version or the blue version starter deck and then you can buy these booster packs to buy more cards. Very interesting. Um, I haven't played a card game since, I don't know, Pokemon cards. I don't know. I think I played a little of Magic the Gathering, but I, I didn't really understand what was going on. It was a bit too complicated for me. And there's nothing else inside the box apart from the cartridge itself. You can see it says Fire Emblem If, but of course it will say Fire Emblem Fates when it comes out in the West next year. Hopefully they won't make you wait too long and I'll um, do as much gameplay as I can for you uh, in the meantime. So I'll just put that back inside the box here. Let's open up the cards. So this is the red version of the starter deck, comes in a plastic case and it says here that there are 50 sheets or 50 cards inside this plastic deck. Um, it costs 1300 yen without tax and with tax it comes to about 1450 yen, so about $15. Uh, that's you know a very rough estimate. There's some information here on the back, uh, I think it tells you exactly what cards you're gonna get inside the starter deck so that it's no, you know, it's not gonna be any surprises here. It really is just so you can get started in the game. Uh, I think to open up this pack without damaging it as much as possible. Yep, I've managed to get the plastic off here, get the plastic off there, and then maybe we're to pull this down here as well. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure that the starter decks are the ex you know the same every single time, so that everyone you know you know exactly what you're what you're getting. Oh, that's interesting. There is actually information. Oh, oh, there's stuff coming out of here. Okay, so this is the actual cardboard that comes uh, on the back of the starter deck. Got a nice illustration of, I don't know, it's probably Marth, but um, you guys can conf uh, confirm because I've, I've never played Fire Emblem, so I don't know any of the characters. Put that to the side, and let's check this out. This is the rule book. So if you've never played the Fire Emblem trading card game, there is a rule book in here in Japanese. There's some um, you know pictures of the cards. They tell you what all the different stats mean. Um, you know, knowing Nintendo, uh, I think it's probably going to be quite an in-depth game. I don't think it'll be too simple. Um, I would be surprised if Nintendo would make a game that wasn't you know worth playing and investing in. I really do you know do, I do really do believe in, in Nintendo. So here's your you're in rule book, you've seen that. Let's see, what is this? All right, so I figured out what this is. On the back here of this card, there's actually a download code, um, and you can use that download code to get a usable unit in the game. So by buying these cards, you actually get a unit that you can actually um, take advantage of in the actual game, Fire Emblem, if. So um, if you want to take advantage of that, just get yourself a starter deck, and you should get a download code in there as well. Now there's one more bit of paper, uh, and it looks a bit like a poster? No, 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 no. This is a game board. Oh, right. Right, so um, to play the fire... Oh, 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 I've got my sticky tape coming on here. Um, to play the actual card game, um, there is a uh, an entire board with... Um, it tells you where to put the deck. Um, is there's an area for cards that I think have been used. This is the orb area, this is the, I don't know what area, <laughs> this is the place where you can actually fight, I guess maybe two people playing, maybe they both need their own mat, but I assume you can play the game without the mat, I mean, uh, it would be a shame to have a card game where if you forgot your mat you just couldn't play the game, so that's what that looks like on that side, and then on the back, um, just information about the game, just reminders about how to play it. So I should, I should probably keep that ca carefully somewhere so I don't lose it. Now, the actual cards. Now let's just get some of these things out of the way so that I can show you the actual starter deck itself. Now it comes with a bit of plastic here, so you can just put that off to the side. And we've got the cards here. I'll try to read their names. Ooh! They're shiny, check out that shine. It's like Rainbow Road on these cards. That's a very nice shiny card. I don't know if that's maybe only the first one. All of the cards look the same on the back. They all have this uh, dark blue fire emblem. Uh, I don't even know what it says, a fire, fire emblem cipher? 
It says Cy Fire Emblem Cypher, which is the name of the card game. Uh, presumably, uh, it's not only for Fire Emblem Fates, it's for all the Fire Emblem games. So here we go, first card, Marth. There you go, that's Marth. Put that down. Second card is Shida. Shida. So this is uh, a girl I don't know. Again, very colorful. I'm gonna have to do this pretty quickly to get all through <laughs> through all 50. This is Oguma. O Oguma. This guy's name's Ogma. Nice shiny card. Let's see, this one is Nabaru. I don't know who Nabaru is, but she looks pretty cool. Or he, it could be a he or she. Sometimes I'm never really sure. Um, this person is Marth. This is another Marth card, but it looks different to the one that we already saw. Nice and shiny, wow, I love these cards. Look at this, it's like a disco going on here. There's like, a, I don't know, it's, it's practically animating itself off the card and in your face. That looks really great. Oh, I forgot her name. It's um, Linda. Her name is Linda, looking pretty cool. Uh, this is another Marth card, but nowhere near as shiny. It doesn't have the holograms on it. I guess not all the cards will have holograms. So that's Marth. Another of the same Marth card. These must be quite useful to have a few of. In fact, I've got a third one here as well. This is a Shida card, but it's not shiny. I don't know the difference between the shiny ones and the not shiny ones. Um, this person is Jagan. <laughs> Jagan. Jagan. So, Jagan, the card. There you go. Um, another Jagan card. There you go. Another Jagan. This is Ogma. So again, Ogma, but not the holographic version. Ogma, again, not holographic. This is Nabaru. I'm, I'm beginning to think this is not a woman. I have a, <laughs> this looks like a man, a very beautiful man. So I'm gonna put that down, uh, another one of him. And this is Marth, but again, uh, not the shiny version. This one, I think, is uh, Shida. I don't know if this, this is probably the same as that holographic one, I guess. Shida again. And who is this? This is Kine. So we haven't seen this card before. Kine, he has a power of 60. Obviously, I'm not going to read all of the details on here for you because that would take hours and the video would never end. Um, this is Kine again, but looks different to the previous Kine. This Kine and this Kine clearly are, I don't know, leveled up versions of each other. I've got another one of that card here as well, and another one as well. Now, this one we haven't seen before. This one is called. Aberu, Aberu, maybe Abel, Abel, maybe his name is Abel, um, I don't know, biblical name for those into that sort of thing. This is also called Abel, but uh, with more fire, more fire, this card is on fire, this card is on fire, uh, and this card is also on fire, as is, the oh, I dropped it, this card is also on fire, looking pretty fiery. This is Doga. This guy's name is Doga. Pretty, pretty unusual name. Sometimes, I, I know that they're trying to give them, you know, Western names, but I just don't know what they could be because <laughs> they only give me the katakana. Another one of the Doga card. This one is Gordon. Ah, Gordon. Gordon uh, is basically the green arrow. Uh, he likes to shoot arrows. And who is this? This is also Gordon, but not looking quite as cool as the previous card and not as powerful. The other one was 50, this one is 30. Same card again of Gordon. And this one is Ogma, but uh, maybe it's a different transformation. I don't really know why there's different versions of the cards, but once I learn how to play the game, I will be able to tell you. So this is um, Saji. Saji? or maybe Sage, Saji, whatever, you guys can probably tell me what his real name is supposed to be, but uh, in Katakana, it is Saji, there you go. And let's see, this is the same card again, and this is Saji, uh, oh, this is Maji, presumably the brother of Saji, or, uh, you know, the um, doppelganger of Saji, must be Maji, <laughs> there you go. Uh, this person is called Bots, Bots, my name is Bots. Um, which reminds me of the Final Fantasy V character whose name was Butts, but there you go, Butts, um, and you uh, have another one of him as well. Now this is Nabaru, um, looking again kind of androgynous in this picture as well, uh, but it's the same person, I think, could be a guy, could be a woman, could be, could be, uh, and this is Lena. Lena, looking kind of magical and mystical. Uh, don't know who she is, but there's another card of her here and uh, and another one here. 
And what's this? This is Ma Malik. Maruk, uh, Mariku, Mariku, maybe his name's Malik, sounds like Malik. I guess he is a magic user of some description. Uh, there's magic coming out of him and he's reading a book. Bad time to read books, isn't it, when you're in a fight? I'm gonna read a book! I, it's like, I don't know, maybe in the future he'll like, get his Kindle out, download a PDF to, uh, to fight with, with the incantations in this magical book. And last but not least, I have a Linda card. This is another Linda card, but not as holographic as the first ones. And this, I don't know what this is. It says Shujinko, which means um, main character, but there's nothing on it. I don't really know how it works. Maybe you like place this card down and then you designate the current card as being your main character but it is all a mystery to me because I have no idea how to play this game so let me just put this like this um, depending on your blood type you might get a little annoyed if I don't put them all the right way up I know that would kind of annoy me also if I had one card that was backwards I think that would kind of annoy me to no end knowing that that card was the wrong way so I'm gonna turn that that way and they are all perfect and nice they really have gone, you know, far and away to, to make this a proper game. It doesn't look like a small deal. They are really going all the way with this card game. And just look at these cards. These holographic cards look absolutely beautiful. I'll just show you one more time. There it is. That is the uh, Linda card, the Marth card, the Nabaru card, the uh, Ogma, Ogma card. And who is this? The Shida, Shida card. I don't know if she's on, she's riding on some sort of mount thing on this. She Maybe she flies on a horse. And this is another Marth card, but a little more powerful than before. These look mint. Uh, don't forget that you also get this card uh, as a bonus inside the game. If you buy the Japanese edition, I don't know what they'll do with the American and the uh, European version, but, or you know, the Canadian or the Australian version, but um, you do get it in the Japanese version. So that's pretty much all I have to show you. Game, card, and lots of cards. And hopefully, I'll learn what this card <laughs> actually does. The Shujinko main character card. That should be interesting to find out what that what that does. But um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I will be unboxing the um, cover plate for Fire Emblem in a separate video as well, so do look out for that. And until then, uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff, and I will see you when I make gameplay videos of Fire Emblem if... I, if I make the video, <laughs> but I probably will. All right, see you then. This is called a kotatsu. Repeat after me, kotatsu. Your finger, your fingertips will get really, really cold. Oh, feels nice and warm, it's really, really good. Happy New Year! Key making with Nihongo Gamer. You, uh, you see something new every day.